Quinton de Kock on strike, needing runs. Good evening again, gentlemen. Bing it. That'll run away for the first boundary. Two catches in place. By six them, really. Quinton de Kock underway. Yeah, look, it's always tough to bowl with. Oh, well, hello. Quinton might be in the mood tonight, boys. He might be in the mood. <laughs> Timing enough. Yes, just enough. Just enough. Heart and mouth stuff for those Renegade supporters. Oh, that sounded good. Was good. One bounce four over mid-wicket. That was the first shot. Oh. oh, boy. That is huge. That has gone 20 rows back easy. Another gap. This time it's Cox underway, and that'll run away for four as well. Was he into the attack from the Shane Warne end? Yeah, I thought this was a good matchup. Oh! And just a little bit of good fortune as well. Chemist Warehouse. Catch it! Out. Just like that. Three men behind point. So it's a tough shot to take on unless you can get a gap or elevation. Could get neither. Yeah, that's a pace off the ball. Six is on the onside. And that is what you put alongside this young bloke's name. This guy is a freak. I don't think quinton has got this well enough. I don't think so. He has it. No. A double strike. Webster gets hold of that one. He just lost momentum because he lost the strike for a little while. Quinton the clock. And he is cross with himself. He had a great start. And, and making sure he understands where he's trying to get the ball and how to get the batsman out. change a thing, don't change a thing, and that is a huge blow. Now this has gone so high, there's a volunteer underneath it, and guess who it is? Guess who it is? It had to be Maxwell, and Fraser McGurk, he just could not get going tonight. That'll pace a divvy there, because they would have had a fielder out square at points so that's the first boundary in quite some time beautifully played that is such clever batting what pace there is he used it to its advantage it's just beautiful in the commentary box proud mary oh that's close that's pretty damn close too close way too close for john o'wells' liking pitching outside off Impact in line. The wicket's hitting. It's going to come back to you on field. Sam, let you know when you're on sprint. It's a long Single way back out. in the crease. And that's where it's going to hit it. Straight down long on throat. It is just all falling into place for the Stars tonight. They're playing like them. They are playing like Stars tonight. Rogers on the charge and Rogers hits six first ball. Okay, well, that's okay. how it's done. Message got through, but it got through to the batsman as well. I reckon too, he might have seen it. I think he read it. <laughs> this is another one for guess who? He's a magnet. Yeah. Doesn't drop him. Simple as that. Oh, great bowling. Beautifully disguised. Let by to finish an impressive bowling and fielding performance. Tom Rogers number one might have a say. He goes past Tom Rogers number two. It's the first boundary of the chase. Just short of a length. It's all it needed to be. Got 
shot that nicely, really well. Quite a clever shot because Peter Siddle's not stupid, he tried to follow him. Just like that, they are so good at it these days, and Rogers the batsman this time. And Rogers the batsman took a calculated risk here. And believe it or not, they come into play just like that. Anywhere on the globe apart from there. Go out, surely. Now that didn't look as if it was that well timed. It was. That's hit like a bullet wide of middle. Yeah, that was the first bad ball the over. So was that. The other side, Midon's getting teased. Can't get that one either. Superb pieces of timing there. Front and back foot. And great back-to-back -back boundaries here from Tom Rogers. You do not need bad luck when you're projecting a very small number. And it wasn't with them there either. And hang in the air for a long, long time, but not long enough. Straight down the ground for four. One of the best places on the park to hit it. You know, that's a catch. That is a really good catch from Sutherland. For a second, I thought that was going to land on grass as well, but. He's a big lad, takes big strides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going home happy. That's good. Oh, that's a nice ball. And oh. only one of them. Just like the ice cream. Fielded. Yeah, it's not. You might want to put this fellow in the sun. It hasn't been an easy night for batting, but he's got through to 40 on the back of that. Peter Siddle's going to go slow boy into the wicket, deep new crease. Like that. And that's going to land safely and make him really angry. He's straight down the ground. The six. <laughs> You know, you could read it, Kurt, couldn't you? Oh, again. We'll go again and we'll go bigger. And that right is in picking duck. Yes. It is picking duck territory. <laughs> yes, McPhee. Got him again. Three in a row. Oh. He's in a gut ball this tonight. Watching it wide of mid-wicket as well. And you don't quite get perfect length. You turn into yours. It's undeniable. It's a cute little side over backward point for a couple. You got the money, Brett Lee. <laughs> you got the money. Everyone inside the circle. Rogers deals to it over mid on. Couple of bounces over the rope, and that seals the deal. It's the Stars that win the local derby. They've turned the tables. It's been the Renegades for the last few years.